Hello beloved, I have come again to share with you what I saw on the 26th of April this year 2022 so, the Lord has shown me things that I want to share, let us pray that so that you understand this message, today is the 26th of April 2022, when I knelt down at midnight in order to pray between the 25th and the 26th of April this year 2022, I felt a strong presence of the Spirit of God who began to talk to me about a brother in the Lord, though I forgot some of the things he said about this brother, I still remember his words, when the Lord had finished telling me things about this brother, I continued praying about these instructions that the Lord told me about this brother, and my prayer was prolonging and extending, up to a point that I got tired and slept, and it is when I slept that I began to have the dream I am about to share with you now. In this dream life was getting on as usual and I was there getting on with life for it was a normal day, when suddenly I saw that I was rising in the air, I was there in the altitude, as I stood in the air, I began to wonder why I was rising in the sky, what was I doing there in the air, when I look around in the horizon, I realized that I was not alone, I was not the only one rising in the sky, for there were countless people rising in the sky that was filled with people. Actually the world was divided in two, there were people that were suspended in the sky in space, and there were people that stay on the land for they could not rise, they could not make it, I wonder why is that some people are in the sky in the altitude, and some are, are left on the ground they cannot rise, what is the reason of our presence in space, I was in wonder, dear brother and sister, when I lifted my eyes up to the sky above me, I saw the Lord Jesus Christ for he appeared in the sky. When I saw him I was in awe, I don't know how to explain to you his splendor and greatness and how I saw him, the Lord Jesus Christ had no beginning and no end, he had cover all the sky, he was greater than the sky and the space itself, he was tremendous and huge, bigger than the sky, something beyond human imagination and understanding, I saw the Lord in all his glory, he was dressed in pure white and he was extremely beautiful, I was in admiration and wonder, the whole sky was covered by the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot imagine the magnificence and splendor and glory of Jesus Christ, I was in rapture of joy admiring the glory of the Lord, as my soul was abounding in joy, I saw that I was dressed in resplendent white, when I look at my hand I saw that I had beautiful skin it was glorious, I call this skin celestial skin, when I look around I saw that the saints that were suspended in the sky like me were also covered in the shiny garment of pure light, they became so glorious and beautiful, for our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die, our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies, so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life, I was amazed and glorify God for I was clothed with youth and immortality, I was full of celestial emotion of joy abounding in my soul. I was still wondering what is the meaning of this, I wanted to check whether the people that stay on the land also changed with incorruptible body of glory like those of us who are standing in the sky, to my surprise I saw the earth looking like dirt and filth, and I saw like the people of the world were inside a dump and garbage, I was astonished and said how could the world become so filthy and dirty, it was unbearable and people were crying, as moaning and cry fill the world. To my surprise I saw a teenager, and he was furious, this angry young man was holding a whip, in fact the moment the Lord Jesus appeared in the sky to take his bride, this furious young man also appeared in the world, he was extremely angry, and was holding a whip that had no end, woe to the earth and the sea, with great fury the devil has come down to you, knowing he has only a short time and when the dragon saw that he had been thrown to the earth he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The furious teenager told the people of the world that were mourning, since you are crying to that God, I will whip you all, so that you may know that I am extremely angry against you all. Immediately this young man began to whip the people with his whip, brother, when the young man moved his whip, I saw that all the people of the world were reached and hit by this whip simultaneously and I heard people crying, they were overwhelmed by the torment this young man was infecting them, I heard the saint crying O oh Lord why have you abandoned us and forsake us, this torment is painful and unbearable for us, I saw men and women, old and young weeping and crying all over the world, every time the young man was hitting his whip, 
man and women on the land were hit painfully by his whip, except those of us who were suspended in the sky and were dressed in white garment, every time I looked down on the land I saw that the earth had become like a dustbin and trash, and people of all nations and language were inside this dump. The furious teenager continued to torment the people of the world with whip, that was hitting those who were left behind, when I look up to the sky I was amazed for there was no sky, the Lord was glorious and magnificent for he has covered all the firmament, seeing this scene I glorify God and I wonder, at that moment I heard a voice saying what is happening in the world is the rapture of the church, I then realized that the rapture was happening, people all over the world continued to mourn as they were left behind. The furious young men told the world, since you continue to cry and plead to that God despite my punishment, I will throw water on your body, then I will whip your body, this way you will feel more pain than previously because of the water, I saw this young man taking a vase of dirty water and he dropped filthy water on the world population, as a result people of all nations got wet because of the filthy water, I saw that this water was really filthy. People cried and said we are covered with dirty water very filthy, the Lord has abandoned us. But the teenager whipped them again and people cry more because they were wet because of dirty water, I wonder who is this furious young man and why is he so angry to the point of tormenting those who had stay on the land. The furious young man told the people, as you continue to cry to that God I will torment you more, he did not like to see the world crying to God and his son Jesus Christ. Since people continued to cry to God despite this punishment, this furious young man opened his mouth again, as a result there came out of his mouth bird that looked like bat, and these bat were invaded all the world and all the nations, they were biting people, and the people cried to God, these people screamed after being bitten, I said Lord people are suffering, since people continue to cry to God because of the torment. The furious young man the enemy of humanity opened his mouth again and snake came out of it, I saw the whole world invaded by snakes, they were biting men and women, old and young, I saw that the earth was covered by darkness, as snakes of all kind were biting the people of the world, these snakes cover the whole earth, since the world was in total darkness I could not see the people that were crying, I only heard their cries as they were bitten by these snakes, when darkness dissipated, I saw the earth still remain gloomy, the earth had not sunlight, at some point I saw that some people have stopped crying for their torment ended, and when their torment was removed I saw that they began to persecute those who were still crying, these people of the world who had joined the enemy of humanity began to bury the follower of the God of Israel alive, brother if you continued to cry to the God of heaven despite the punishment of the enemy of God you will be buried alive in the presence of your family, it was dreadful for all kind of torment was inflicted to those who continued to cry to God and his son, finally I woke up from the sleep, I said Lord these are the things I have seen, they are dreadful and absolute terror, I felt pain and I was troubled by this dream, I was in pain because of the torment and torture the people of the world were to endure because of the failure to make it to the rapture, when I thought about the snake that came out of the mouth of the young man, the way they were cover the earth and were biting men and women, old and young, I was filled with fear, I spent all day praying and begging the Lord, I said Lord don't leave me behind, I am in terror, let me be rapture for I saw that I was rapture in this dream, don't leave me behind, if there is something that will stop me from rising please reveal to me so that I can correct it. I don't want to remain here and cry like these people, who said, God we serve you but you have abandoned us, remember us we have served you, why have you left us here? Brothers these are words that came out of the mouth of those who were left behind, all day I prayed and I said Lord don't let me be in that position, I am serving you and your kingdom, and I don't want to be like these people who were saying we serve you but why have you abandoned us, don't let me deviate from the way of justice, these people were seeking help but there was no help, I don't want to be left behind, brother why did I pray like this, actually last week the Lord told me, in the week where the rapture will happen, many pagan will come to me, and they will be rapture, but many believers will deviate and they will be left behind.